What's up, this is Tim here with my thoughts on the in-case frame case for the iPhone 3G, 3GS. I actually won this case from uh, James L 23 the James L 23 I'll put his link on the sidebar. Check him out, he's actually having a giveaway right now on his channel and his blog for an Agent 18 case, so definitely check him out, enter into that. Um, this is going to be a giveaway actually for this case that I won from him also. This is, I've got two of them, i got this black one, or this black one here on my phone. It's a solid, opaque back, so it's not clear. Then I've got this clear green, or translucent green one, with green frame. This is going to come in your basic in-case, new in-case packaging. Retails for $29.95 at the Apple Store and on their website. So definitely if you're interested in one of these cases, check them out in the Apple Store on their website. Uh, some, some are available at best some Best Buy stores, I believe, also. So you just take the sleeve out. Then you have the, the case sitting in the packaging, just sits in here. Um, comes with this little iPhone back. This one didn't come with one, this actually goes to this black one, so whoever wins this case is just going to get the box and the case. So. so it comes with this little fake back iPhone. It's a hybrid style case, it's got the rubber side all the way around, the rubber frame, I guess you want to say. It's got the in-case logo there. That's, which is pretty nice, it's kind of incognito over there on the side, you don't really notice too much. But it's fused to the plastic back. Like I said, this is the translucent back, it also comes in a camo version. And a topo, I believe it's called, where it's just got some squiggly lines around on it. And then and they have now, they, have, they offer these with a colored frame and a clear back window. And then they offer many different colors for the frames and then different color options for the ones with the translucent plastic also. So definitely if you're interested in this case you can check it out on the website and they'll see all the color options. We'll go ahead and take a look at the phone on, in a case. On th this black one is in a lot better shape than this green one. I'll admit to that. That's why I'm going to let this one go. I've got this black one. I don't need two of them. I bought this black one from Larry Greenberg and it's in perfect condition. I've used it a few times but there's a, it's a different fit than this green one because this green one's been used and abused. Yeah, it's still a good case, but it is a little loose. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and look at it. You've got your volume rocker that's covered. Very responsive though. So it's got good, good, good feel when you're, and good response when you're doing your volume. Your vibrate switch is very easy. I can get it up and down with my thumb. No issues with that. I don't have to dig in there or anything. It's a very nice cutout. Headphone jack is wide open. Never had any issues with any headphones that I have. Uh, it's a very large hole, so uh, your sleep wake button is covered up also, very responsive. You got your full bezel is covered all the way around. Very nice snug fit on this case. That's the thing you want to look at this case, and I'll show you the green one. The, st the green one is not as snug fitting around the corners, it's a little stretched out. That's about the only downside I have to this case, is that the corners, this rubber silicone does get stretched. So you got your dock port is nicely cut out, and it's got separate cutouts for the for the mic and the speaker. Like I said, this is they got the the opaque back uh, plastic, so it does it's not clear. You can't see through it at all. I've got a white iPhone back there. You can see through them with my camera hole. Camera lines up very well. Sometimes you gotta do have to massage it out up there a little bit to get it on. Again, the in-case logo, very, very nicely put on the side, so it's not put right on the back or anything. So it's not too noticeable. Very cool of them to do that. So uh, some some logos are pretty cool. Some people are a bit are really against logos on the back of cases or anywhere on the case, but that's not bad to look at. I mean, you hardly even notice it there. But other than that, it's a great case. It's got the small lay on the table design, just a little bit of a lip. We'll go ahead and throw the green one on and show you what that one looks like. Uh, I say if you get one of these, you just always just want to be careful when you're putting it in on and off. Try not to stretch the silicone out too much because that's what's going to wear them out. I mean, that's like I said, that's the downside that I have that I found with this case so far is that the silicone will just stretch out. And the color ones do get a little bit of, you can see it gets a little dingy, but it cleans up very well. So we'll go ahead and slap the phone in. I always just put in the top first, 
and then I I start working down basically working it down get the end smashed and I start working the corner up this one's a little stretched out so it actually goes on a little bit easier you can see this little bottom here it's a little saggy very soft because it's been used and abused like I said but other than that I mean the case is still a good case it's got the hybrid design it's got your shock protection with the rubber silicone around the edges around the sides it's got your scuff protection with the plastic on the back but with these uh, translucent ones or even the clear ones I'm sure you're gonna have issues with it scratching and showing the scratches and then when dust gets in there you're gonna want to take this case off a little bit more often to clean it out because you're gonna see the dust behind the plastic between the phone and the plastic so you can see the camera holes off a little bit there and you just massage it a little bit and it goes back on uh, you don't have any watermarking issues unless you are pushing see when I push here you can see a little bit of a watermark come up here but not unless you're pushing it on it other than that it's a nice case but you can see see that top corner there you can see where it's stretched out on both top corners is a little bit stretched out and then the saggy bottom and also this bottom is starting to peel let's see if we can get it in the right light so you can see that you can see right on the on the ledge there it's starting to peel the silicone is almost like a if you got a sunburn and your skin starting to peel that's what it looks like to me here just peeling up a little bit and this is a little saggy like I said probably from someone just grabbing it and peeling it back to take it off or to put it on they're peeling it up same with these top corners I'm sure that's what happened they were just uh, you know not knowing any better because there probably wasn't a whole lot of reviews when they first got this case and I've had the pleasure of seeing reviews on it before so I knew what to expect and that's why I'm very careful with the black one I've heard about this issue of them stretching out but if you if you take care of it and don't stretch on them or pull on it or a lot you may not have that issue for a while we'll see how long this if I have an issue with the black one or if I have it long enough to, to have an issue then I'll just put an update video up on it but I mean this can happen I mean I don't know if I need to put an update this is what's going to happen if you're rough on it and stretching and pulling on it so like I said this is going to be a giveaway for this case if you're interested in this case it does have some flaws like I said it's starting to peel a little bit of saggy and a little bit of stretched out corners but other than that it's a good case it's got a little bit of scuffing on the back plastic but that's going to be normal use on this so if you're interested in the giveaway just go ahead and leave a comment below and put giveaway the word giveaway anywhere in your comment I'll randomize the the names the top person I'll go and check their comment if their comment has the word giveaway in it they they will be the winner of the and they're subscribed of course you gotta be a subscriber to the channel and, and leave a comment below so if you're interested in the giveaway go ahead and just put a comment below with the giveaway in it if not you don't have to put the give word giveaway if you still want to comment I appreciate comments I appreciate if you rate the, rate the video also and subscribe so other than that I probably will shoot the video the winner's video in about two weeks I'm getting ready to move moving out of state so I'm not too sure how long it's going to take me to get settled in I got a couple of videos I'm gonna have shot before I move so I can put some videos up still hopefully I have some internet service pretty quickly when I get down there but just to give me a a nice cushion window I'm gonna give two weeks probably for this video I'll try to get it up in two weeks the winner's video and I'll get that sent out as soon as I can after that so if you're interested in the giveaway Please rate, comment, subscribe, and put the word giveaway in your comment. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. Thanks again.